Hi guys, VST here, Velas Tristech. Yes, this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, running the latest One UI 3.0, now the stable one. If you didn't really have the time to look at all my videos I did about One UI 3, all the betters. Now make sure that you catch up with the latest One UI 3.0, now the stable build, right? There are some very nice and fancy things, guys, and I just want to show you all the features. Saving your time, and without any further ado, let's gonna start with feature number one, which is the updated lock screen. One tap. And you're presented with the always on display, right? Double tap, and you can go to the lock screen. Now, when you hit here the clock, you're gonna see if you have your full clock also with the seconds. And then you have the widgets, guys, right? Down below, you go to settings, okay? You can enter the form, and then you can see that apparently you have the music, next alarm, the scale, the weather, the big speed routines, the digital well being also show on always on display, but you can also reorder things, right? So let's say you wanna move the weather up, you just hold here, drag, okay, then go, okay, go back. Right, I'm just gonna close the phone right now. Okay, one tap, we have the always on, double tap. We have now, again, lock screen, click one time here, and now you see the weather is a bit up. And how can you go back to the lock screen? You can just do a swipe like that. Here you have also your dialer, and here you have also your access to the camera. And this is all the updates with the lock screen. All right, feature number two, guys, let's enter the phone. We enter the phone right now, and we're gonna be reviewing the new quick settings. So when you do like this, gonna be presented with the quick settings. When you swipe one more time, you can see that there is an updated menu, guys. And it does look different, guys. I'm gonna show you here are the ones from the One UI 2.5 before the One UI 3.0. So you see here in the One UI 3.0, we have the clock, which is centered a bit here. And then the whole design is different. From here, you can access all the settings. Okay, you can go back. Swipe again, have now all the quick settings. When you go to the right, you can see all the quick settings expanded. I like the fact that they're all taking up like the whole screen. You have access to your clock immediately. It's quite nice from Samsung to do so. Okay guys, feature number three, one of the favorites one. I think everybody likes this one. While you are browsing the phone, just a double tap, boom, you know, power off. And again, double tap. How can you activate this feature? You need to go to settings, scroll down and look for advanced features. And in advanced features, guys, you will see motions and gestures. Once you go in motions and gestures, you can see you have the double tap to turn on screen, but then you have also double tap to turn off screen. And let's try. It doesn't really work everywhere else, but on the home screen, okay? So it's only accessible here from the home screen. Feature number four I wanna to present to you is the new volume rocker. So when you press down, you are presented with the volume rocker, but when you click here on these three dots, you see this expanded version. So you can adjust the sounds of the live caption, the sounds of your alarm, the sounds of Bixby, also the sounds of your media files, and then overall volume for the whole device, right? And if you go here and press the cock wheel, you are presented with a text option where you can see, okay, ringtone is MIDI notification, right? Okay, the next feature, guys, number five, is going to be the new call background. If you go here into your dialer and you hit the settings, okay, you can go to settings, you can see something called call background. And apparently from call background, you know, you can use a layout from Samsung, like, okay, somebody's calling you, you can see the information like this or like that, okay? But then you can also choose your own background. And you can see there is already like a video background that you can set as a call background. But you can see also there is an option for you guys to add your own one. So if you go here, and there is the option to use this as a call background, but also using the video sound as a ringtone. So let me just use both. So next time somebody's gonna call me, guys, I'm gonna get this here, like the name, the phone number, and then also you know, this nice video that I shot myself. So feature number seven, guys, while we are still on the home screen, let me just show you the updated split screen. So I'm just gonna go to the recent task. So, okay, let's choose here the YouTube. I'm gonna click here, and I'm going to choose the option to open in split screen view. Now you're presented with a YouTube that is already captured here, and you can apparently now select another application. So let's say, I wanna choose the Chrome, and the good thing here is that you can select apps that you can find in Apps Edge, but if you go to here, you're gonna be able to find all your application. So let's say I wanna have here the AccuWeather, it's all fine. Now I have the YouTube here, and I have the AccuWeather below. Now when you go back to the recents, you can see that this is already captured. And the best thing is that from the Apps Edge, you can apparently capture these views. So let's say if you use you know, YouTube with your gallery all the time, you can memorize this, and they're gonna appear like this, so this is really, really nice and handy. Feature number eight, still on the home screen. Now there is something about the quick widgets. So let's say we're gonna go to the Google folder and we wanna add another from the Google widgets. If you hold the Google application, you're gonna be presented here with an icon called widgets, right? And when you select widgets, you can immediately jump and see all the widgets that you can get for the Google application and then apparently add them on the screen. Else you know the whole story. If you wanna do it like the regular way, 
you need to go from the home screen, you need to go to widgets, but then here you're gonna see all the widgets that you have and you can spend some time searching. So this is a very nice and quick way to find a widget for a particular application. Now a bit more about the lock screen. If you go to settings and you go here to wallpaper, and then you go here to wallpaper services, you know that there is something called the dynamic lock screen. Now when you click the cogwheel, you will get all the settings. Now the new thing in OneUI 3.0 is that you can choose up to five categories. So right now I have plants, I have life, but let's also choose cats, right? And let's download animals. And in the previous version from OneUI, you were able to select only up to two categories, right now up to five. So this is a really nice change into the OneUI 3 regarding the dynamic lock screen settings. All right guys, the next feature, feature number 10, is the new edge lighting. So you need to go here to notifications, and when you go to notifications, you have two options, you have brief and you have the detailed one. In the detailed notification, you're gonna get more information from the notifications by the time it hits your screen, but there is no option to get to the edge lighting. If you choose the brief notification, you're gonna see an option called brief pop-up setting. When you hit it, you're gonna see edge lighting style. Now I have none, apparently you can choose different ones, glitter, hard, down. And you can also color by keyword, show even while screen off, so there are plenty of options. Now my personal choice is the detailed one, so I'm just passing through to the edge lighting notification, but if you wanna have them, you know how. Feature number 11, guys, also something very important, notifications, and when you go to the advanced settings, you're gonna see something called notification history. When you click this one, you're gonna see that you have history for all the notifications that you got in the last 24 hours, and it goes on and on, right? And it's very, very important because if you want to catch some up behavior or catch on something, you can go here and you can immediately check this. This is really, really very, very handy from Samsung and Android 11, of course, put into the One UI 3.0. So the next feature, guys, is the gallery revert. So let's say you wanna edit an image. That's an image I took yesterday. So let's say I wanna go inside. Uh, let me just try to make it uh, black and white, okay? Right, now when I save it, and when I go back to my folder, you can see that the original picture is gone. Some people might like it, some people might not like it. But if you wanna go back, guys, you just need to enter the picture that you just added. You can go to the edit button, and you're gonna see that there is a button called revert. So when you press the revert button, you will revert to original, you'll save it, and then boom, you just get the, back to the original picture. It's a very nice way for One UI 3.0 to really get rid of all this unnecessary clutter that is built up when you do things like that. Okay guys, next feature, speaking about Android 11 and One UI 3.0 is the new permissions. So let's go to settings. Just wanna show you this, it's very, very important. You go to settings, guys, then you go to privacy, and in privacy, you see that you are in control of all your data. But what I wanna show you guys is here the permission manager, because inside you have an easy access to manage all the applications and one day access. So let's see, camera, I see that I have 12 applications out of 66 applications that can access my camera. So let's say I don't want the air zone to access my camera, okay, then you can allow only when using the app. You can make it also that every time you start an application, you know, it will ask you, or you can deny it at all. And this is really a very welcome addition. This really comes from Android 11, and I'm so happy to see that it's finally adopted here by Samsung. And you can do this actually for all your assets. So let's say microphone, phone, physical activity, SMS. So it's a very nice way for you to see what happens and what goes on. All right. Next feature, guys, is the new one-handed mode. So see this miracle, I just swipe like that, boom, I'm in the one-handed mode. So now I can apparently use the smaller version of the phone. If you want to move that one around, you can put it to the right or to the left side with the button here. If you want to move it up, you just hold it here and then you can drag it, you know, actually freeform, right? So I want to have it there, I want to have it a bit in the center. It's really up to you. And if you want to go back, guys, boom, hit here, you're now back on your screen. Last but not least, guys, I want to share you some updates into the battery section. So if you hit here the settings, and you scroll down to battery and device care, okay, you can see that right now you have access to your battery settings. You can hit here the battery, okay, and inside, can, apparently I can directly put some application to sleep, so let me put my Spotify to sleep in order to save some battery, okay. I can go back here and I can see usage since last full charge, but when I hit here, guys, I'm gonna be presented with some more detailed application. And you can see this is since the last full charge, I'm using the phone, how many days, what is screen on time, which application consumes what. If I hit here, I'm gonna get even the YouTube usage since the last full charge and in the last seven days, this is very, very fancy and also here, an aggregated option, last seven days, all the usage and you can see you can head it here by bars, battery use, charging, all the applications. It's really, really very friendly way for you to see what applications you're using, how much of your battery and what is your overall screen on time, which I know is very important for all the users out there. And with that said, guys, I'm gonna call the end for this video. Those are the best new features that you can find into the latest One UI 3.0. I really hope that you enjoy videos like this. If that's the case, you might want to consider subscribing for my channel for more videos like this. And guys, yeah, stay safe, and we're gonna catch up in my next video. VST over and bye.